Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to look at adding motion to a still image. Here we'll bring in a PSD where I have separated out the layers. We'll be sure to import this as a composition. You often have to use stills and videos, so to create a more engaging or dynamic movement, we can use a parallax type effect. This is when background images move more slowly than foreground images, creating an illusion of realistic depth from a 2D image. So in Photoshop, I made a foreground, a mid, and a background layer. As you can see, I use content to wear fill to fill in some areas on the background and middle area. This is because the foreground is going to be moving quicker. So when it moves, we need to fill in a little bit, but it doesn't need to be perfect. You're only going to see a very small piece of this where the edges would be for the other layer. The next thing we would do is convert these into 3D layers. With the checkboxes selected there, we can add a camera to our layer. Layer, new camera. And now what we're going to want to do is move our background layer much further back in Z space. So we go to the position of the background and we move it pretty far back. Again, this is so it doesn't move that much as compared to the foreground when we add our camera movement. Now we'll go to the scale property and scale up this layer so that it again fills the screen in this view. We'll do the same for the midground, but we won't move it too much. In the case of the foreground, we can actually move it closer to the screen and then use our scale to scale it back down. And now in our camera layer, we can create keyframes for position and we can push in or zoom in on our camera. So we'll do that by adjusting the Z space position. And this should achieve a parallax effect. So as you can see, the foreground is moving faster as the camera goes in and the background is barely moving, which is what achieves a parallax effect. Of course, you can adjust the camera position as needed. And again, notice that content aware fill or maybe some clone stamping was fine for filling in the gaps that would be in the other layers, because once again, you're barely seeing that much of it. So if you enjoyed this example, be sure to subscribe and thank you.